Russia's military made a dramatic show of force today with its biggest training maneuvers in years. Elizabeth Palmer had a front row seat. These may be war games, but the Russians weren't playing around. This live fire display today south of St. Petersburg is part of the much larger Zapad military exercise. The Russians are repelling a fictional invasion, and the enemy is not so subtly being called the Western Coalition, a clear reference to NATO. Of course, these exercises are a chance for the Russians to give their men and their modernized weapon systems a real workout. But they're also spectacle, designed to be seen and to send a message around the world, but especially to the United States and its NATO allies. The message says, don't mess with us. And to underline it, President Putin even skipped the UN General Assembly in New York to be here, along with 110 Russian and international journalists. Zapad is being played out beyond Russia westward into neighboring Belarus, which puts thousands of Russian soldiers nose to nose with beefed up NATO troops, including Americans. Exactly how many thousand Russian and Belarusian soldiers? Well, NATO says up to 100,000. The Russians say just under 13,000. And the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. But a lack of Russian transparency has added to NATO jitters. That, along with the fact that Russia has been on a $70 billion military spending spree. And it shows. If this display has the impact Russia hopes, they believe it will be money very well spent. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Lushsky Artillery Base, Russia.